snub a cache and with all table turned and it creates a great plot for the next season. So in this video, I will try to explain the ending of snub a cache and without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. And before that, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to never miss a video from us. The character most like a protagonist is Leia, a widowed single mother and budding tech entrepreneur who finds investment for her startup, Target Coach, in the form of billionaire tech bro composite Thomas Strom. But there's a problem since Target Coach was initially floated on a loan from the unscrupulous Marcus Fenner and Stroms want him gone, which requires an amount of capital that Leia can't acquire without dipping her toes into the world of high-stake illegality occupied by her brother-in-law, Ravi, whose loan don't come without strings. Snobakash is deliberate in how it charts Leia and Ravi's success on parallel tracks, highlighting similarities even before they begin to more explicitly intersect. That process is hastened along by Leia's falling for, for Salim, a well-intentioned singer who also happens to be Ravi's right-hand man. Neither Leia nor Salim is aware of their shared connection at first, but that doesn't last long as the sixth episode rapidly rests up the tension and the sense of impending, inevitable disaster on all fronts. Leia, Salim and off-the-rail white kid named Tim all provide different perspectives of how crime, debt, ambition, love and naivete all intertwine, how one bad decision can lead to countless others and how every bill always has to be paid one way or another. So let's talk about the ending of the show. As the episode start, Leia learns that Thomas is not some genius but he's a fraud. He circulates money and tries to fool everyone before going public. Leia found out that and goes to Thomas to confront him. But that backfires as Thomas knows about Ravi and he also knows that the money that came to target coach is drug money. At last, both of them came to terms and Leia in return wants 10 million for herself from Thomas. On the other side, Salim is planning to kill Ravi as he is in love with Leia and if he knows about them, he will definitely kill them. So he asks Leia to bring Ravi at some place where he can kill him. But after a change of heart, Leia didn't follow the plan and the plan fails. Now the show takes a turn when Tim got caught and just before he was gone a shot, he said the name of Leia and that blows everyone's minds. Ravi brings Rhea to jungle and confronts her, but she has no idea what is going on. She thought that he knows about her and Salim, but in reality, the matter was who sold Ravi to Danny. At last, Salim came into the light and saved both Tim and Leia's life by saying that he was the one who sold them out, and he was the rat, because he wants to get out of the crime world. But in return, Ravi shoots his right-hand man in the eye and forces Tim to accept that he kills Salim. But now the table have turned as when Marco calls Ravi and he saw Leia there. As we know, Ravi owe Marco some money and he is in his debt. And when he came, Marco told him that his loan is paid off by Leia and now Ravi owes her 5 million crowns. And she is off the table. That means Ravi can't hurt her. That came a bit of twisty at the end as Leia goes direct to the big guns and clears Ravi's debt to put him under his debt. As for the no untouchable things, I guess she paid Marco some extra money for the protection of herself and her family. On the other hand, she can also lure Marco into the deal by giving him some stakes in the company or she will launder his drug money. So what are your thoughts over it? What will she do and why Marco help her? Put them in comment section and if you like this video, hit the like button and for more such content like this, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon.